Hi there, and welcome to the video on course selection and timetable planning for Bachelor of Science Computer Science students. The following is a list of suggested first year courses for a student in the Bachelor of Science Computer Science program. You will notice all of your required first year Bachelor of Science Computer Science courses, as well as ACAD 1601, a breadth requirement. The single asterisk provides information for those within concurrent education. The double asterisk allows students to understand some of their future planning. And the triple asterisk highlights the need to fulfill breadth requirements within your degree. You can also find this information at nipissingu.ca slash NSO under the course selection tab, as seen within the Academic Advising's intro video in the NSO module. Courses within these course codes can be counted towards your breadth requirements for your degree. You can either hit pause and review them now, or they can be found on the NSO website under course selections. Now that you know where to find a list of what to take, let's focus a bit on actually building your timetable. First, you will want to print off a blank timetable so you can start to pencil in your options and ensure you aren't trying to register for two courses that are taking place at the same time. You can find a timetable on the NSO website. Start off by clicking on the Course Selection tab, the Direct from High School tab, and then the Timetable Planner link. You'll see one side of the timetable is for the fall term. Be careful to only add fall courses to this side of the page. Your winter courses will go on the back side where you see the WI term. Some courses run for the full year. They're listed as FW on WebAdvisor. You will write those courses on both the fall and on the winter sides of the timetable. Pay careful attention to which side of the sheet you're writing your courses on as it is easy to accidentally write something on the wrong side and get yourself mixed up. There will be another video assisting you with WebAdvisor, but for now let's take a quick look so you know how to tell if a course is available in the fall or the winter. Here is a quick screenshot of the math offerings in WebAdvisor, just to give you an example of how to tell which semester course is offered. As you can see, course codes are followed by two letters, indicating what term the course will be offered in. FA, meaning the course runs from September to December, WI, meaning the course runs from January to April, and FW, meaning the course runs from September to April, or all school year. For now, we're going to take a quick look under computer science so we can pencil in your first two courses together. Don't worry if you aren't quite sure how to get here yet. You can review the Registrar's Office's videos on how to navigate WebAdvisor. You'll see from this screenshot that Computer Science 1557 is offered in the fall course twice, both as synchronous online learning. This means that there are designated meeting times, so we must timetable them for either Monday from 7 to 7.50 p.m. or 6 to 6.50 p.m. If you choose the first option, this is what it would look like on your timetable. Fall term, Monday, 7 to 7.50 p.m. In the winter term, Computer Science 1567 is offered on campus with a couple different meeting times because this course does have a lecture and lab component. Uh, your lecture takes place Wednesdays and Fridays from 1 until 2.20 p.m. with your lab taking place Monday, 8 to 8.50 p.m. On your winter timetable, this is what it would look like. Two lectures and a lab. On-campus courses are at least three hours per week. If you notice that you've written down less than three hours for any on-campus winter course, be sure to check WebAdvisor to see what you may have missed. Let's look at another course on your list, ACAD 1601, or Academic Writing. You'll see this course is offered several times in both the fall and in the winter. Because you have so many options for this course with both distance learning in the fall and distance and on-campus learning in the winter, you'll want to make this one of the last ones that you pencil into your plans. Don't forget to take it, but start considering what else you should decide on before you pick where ACAD fits best. Students planning on a full course load will be registering for five courses in the fall and five courses in the winter. This is an example of how the list of courses that we reviewed at the beginning of this video might be split over two semesters. Your list of your breadth requirement options can be found earlier in this video or under the course selection tab of the NSO website. 
electives are other courses that you plan to take based on your interests, academic goals, and course availability. You might decide to use your electives to complete a minor or potentially a teaching subject. Different minor options at Nipissing are as follows. If you'd like to learn more, check out the Academic Advising website for a video about minors and certificates. If you'd like more information about concurrent education requirements and teaching subjects, please review the video found on the NSO website under the Concurrent Education tab. Take some time now to review the videos by the Registrar's Office to better assist you in understanding how to navigate WebAdvisor and the registration process. With this information, you should be able to set yourself up a timetable for the year. Once you've planned all your courses for this year, you can log on to WebAdvisor and register. Please know that building a timetable and choosing courses can be a long process. Read different course descriptions, consider your different options, and understand that you will have the opportunity to make changes to your course selections even after courses have started in the fall. Once you've registered for your courses, you can email us at advising at nipissingu.ca if you'd like someone to review your selections. If you're still having more difficulty and want to sign on to a group academic advising chat, please check the NSO website or your Nipissing student email for more information and instructions on how to do that. Thank you for listening and good luck as you start to plan your first year.